New tonight, CMS school board members getting fired up. The issue money for new schools to be built. Millions of dollars in bonds are on the line, but some argue is this money being used effectively and what exactly will it do? WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs was at tonight's meeting and joins us now with some of the heated moments. You promised one thing and now you think you're going to go back on it. I think it is a, an abomination. The CMS school board will now break their promise to taxpayers after voting to reduce the number of classrooms in three new high schools. That's a slap in the face to us, to our community. West Charlotte High is one of them. Current and former students signaled what they wanted but didn't get. Lies on top of lies. In 2017, taxpayers voted to approve a $922 million bond that would create 26 new projects, including new schools. At the time, the school board promised 125 classrooms in three new high schools. And we need to deliver to the community what we committed. But after rising construction costs that far exceed the $922 million approved and district staff saying there would be hundreds of empty classrooms at that rate, those high schools will now have 100 classrooms. It is time to right size these high schools. It means on average there will be 25 students per teacher instead of 20, but still 2,500 students per high school. A bursting school district trying to move forward, but admitting they spoke too soon. We goofed on the communications as far as the 125 versus 100. Because of the vote late Tuesday night, district staff says those three high schools will be built and opened by August of 2022 as originally planned. I'm Hunter Signs for WCNC Charlotte.